Guys, I'm so happy Zorg survived. The coin door is not going to be tried for murder. <laughs> I know, right? When is he getting here? I can't wait to tell him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why do you get to tell him? I was the one who heard the voicemail first, so I should be able to be the one to tell him. Yep, that's a good point. I think Brian should tell him. Uh, huh? We we heard it at the same time. Listen, I'm the one who originally killed Zorg. Therefore, I should be the one who gets to tell him. Okay, now that is a good point. Um, I think Keith should be the one to tell him. Okay, okay. That doesn't make any sense. Look, I'm the one telling him. Oh, here he is now. Hello, boys. My name is Coindoid. I'm an alien from the Triangular Galaxy. Coindoid! Coindoid, hey man. Listen, I got some great news. Guess what? Zorg is alive. Woo! You're not going to get in trouble for killing him because he's alive. Isn't that great? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Coindoip? Coindoip? Are you okay? Coindoip? Richard, Richard, check on him. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God, Corny's dead, isn't he? No, he's not dead, Keith. Don't say that. Don't say that. You killed him. What? No, I didn't. You told him Zorg was alive. You killed him. No, no, he's not dead. Come on. You guys got to help. You guys got to. Hey, we got to get the cameras off. Let's start the show, man. Start the show. Wait, I, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Start the show. Start, start the show. The, the show we're doing. Start it. You want me to start it? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, oh, shit. Uh, oh, man. Well, um, this didn't work out this time. But, uh, you know, think about doing better next time. When in, in whatever it is that you're doing, if it's this or something else, I just want you to know that I appreciate everything you do. Uh, don't, don't be an asshole in your life. <laughs> uh, um... Hi, my name is Fred. I'm on the hunt for friends, and this is the first planet I'm visiting. What's your name? Oh, hi there. My name is Teapot. Oh, well, hello there, Teapot. It's great to meet you. Would you like to be my friend? Yeah, sure. I'll be your friend, Fred. Six. Say, 
What is it you're looking at or watching? Oh, this? That's Dragon Boy. He's been on this planet. A lot of folks around here look up to him. Dragon Boy. Interesting. Yeah, he's like a hero, see? I got a bogey on my six. Come on, miss me. You can't catch me on the dragon. I'm the only dragon in this cave. So, Dragon Boy is sort of like your planet's savior. Yeah, kinda. Gets a little boring watching this all the time, though. What else do you do on Dragon Boy's first planet for fun? It's just this. I watch this each day. This is all you have here? Yup. Teapot. I think you should come with me on this space voyage to find more friends. There's a whole world, planets out there just waiting for you. Okay. Great. Stop right there. Oh, oh hi. Somebody once told me, the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. It didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. That is some original poetry I've written for Zark TV. I hope you all enjoy this, this very original poem that I've written for you all. Have you ever stretched out like this? Like yoga, yoga, yogu. Ever done yogu before? Have I ever done yogu? That doesn't look comfortable. What are, are you okay? It's a yogu position. That's a yogu position. I can, I can do whatever mm, I This doesn't look safe. It's yogu. Are you kidding me? Of course it's safe. You just fucking smacks your face on the fucking. Yeah, thing. that's part of it. It's part of it. Yes, it clears your thoughts. Uh, how did you learn the skill? Well, I made that myself. Oh, you, know? you are the yogi. Yeah, yogu. The yogu. I okay. I made it up. Is the point. So you're like the Steven Seagal of the yogu. <sighs> Not Seagal. I'm more like the. Um, I'm more like the Steve McQueen. In what way? You you know like. How he would be in movies and stuff. Yes, I know how Steve McQueen was in movies. He'd be like, you know, hi, thank you for watching my movie. And he'd be like this. 
Like, oh, man. Don't remember king, that specifically, king, but okay. King, well, just for, let me do it. Okay. And the king of cool was Steve McQueen. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I love being Steve McQueen. Love it. I wish you'd love me too. Watch the movie, please. And then the movie would start. When he's out in all these positions, right? He's a fit guy. And if he's doing this, if I just did that, I would be a fit guy too. That's why Are I you suggesting what you just did was representative of Steve McQueen? Yes. Well, oh. I just wasn't sure what was happening. I... Stephen McQueen did that a lot. So, next point. <laughs> Come on. Come on, coin. Don't wake up. Wake up. Maybe I can help. I think I'm a doctor. How can you think that you're a doctor, Keith? Well, my grandfather was a doctor, and as we all know, that gets passed down genetically. Okay, I I can't even begin to decipher what you just told me. Do you think Do you think we should just um call nine one one? Call nine one one and tell them that we what have a dead alien? Yeah, I don't think that's going to go so well. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about the alien thing. Please, please, guys, do you have any suggestions? Yeah, you got to give them mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Ooh, you mean kiss coin doip? No, no, no. It's not a kiss. It's a medical thing. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, he's my alien. I can't, I can't kiss him. Come on, Richard. It's like a, it's like a kiss to make it uh, better kind of thing. Uh, fine. There, I did it. Uh, well, looks like that didn't work, so uh, we can safely scratch that idea. Jesus Christ, you got to get air into his actual lungs, Richard, not just kiss him on the lips. <sighs> yeah, okay, whatever, fine, here we go. Ooh. 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 Okay, now what? All right, Ooh. hold on. Uh, we're going to need some defibrillators to jumpstart his heart. One second, let me rig something up real quick. Oh, uh, dude, I love defibrillators. This this is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard. I rigged your headphones up to the circuit box in the studio. They're now actually working defibrillators. So go ahead, split them up, and hit his chest with them. Well, this might as well be Russian roulette. Oh, boy. Okay, everybody ready? Um, but, okay, but Richard, before you do that, you know, this kind of reminds me of the movie E.T., um, where, you know, we got the this alien that we all love, and but then he's dying, and then but, but then we can use defibrillators and bring him back to life. Okay, okay, thank you, Matt, for the E.T. reference. Okay, now are we ready to go? Clear. Clear. Clear! Oh! talk today about uh, Buzzer Robots. This film is from the 1992. It's 100 minutes. And, uh, well, it's 100 minutes, but IMDb says it is 99 minutes. So if you have a tape, the tape is one minute longer. Um, this film stars Steve Buscemi, Tim Ruth, Harvey Cattell, Chris Penn, Michael Madsen, and it's Four perfect killers, one perfect crime. Now they, now they all have to fear is each other. It's like one of those like kind of like bank uh, heist jewelry robber movies. Um, not a big fan of music, but when music is in uh, movies, it's usually a little more effective, you know, for the art form than music by itself. You know, so there's a song. It's called um, "Stuck in the Middle." And the way it's used in the movie is actually really cool visually with what's happening and stuff. So, Brief is, uh, is Mr. Orange? Anyway, he's a really good actor. I uh, loved his performance in it. In fact, there's this very specific thing in the movie that I wish I could just um, show you a clip of. But instead, thankfully, for this five bag film, we have a bonus. Might even be a Thanks. Oh, just don't forget, every week 
we can always count on movie talk here uh, with Be Kind or Wine. We'll always have movies here with on some of us. Thanks, guys. So I tells him I don't tip, and I don't even do any kind of tips, and I don't believe in it. But everybody, not not because society says I should tip, but because I don't feel like it at all. They're not, they want, I want my coffee six times. I want my, my coffee seven times now. And then if you put the, really put the extra effort in, I'll tip you. But, but just this tipping automatically bullshit, it's like, I was like, I don't even... Ah, uh, you're full of shit. Get out of here. All right, everybody. This whole table's full of uh, full of shit. All right, now I'm gonna cut your ear off. It's the reservoir dog. Yep, let's go get him. Reservoir dogs. Oh, 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 God. Just got killed. Oh, oh how am I dying? Oh, look at all this blood. All this blood. I'm just gonna. Ah! Ah! Listen, if you don't stop dying back there, I'm gonna come back there and kill you. This is a fucking game. I will fucking end you. Would you like to see another yogu move? Absolutely, I would. I shouldn't be exposing this for free, but kind of do one of these moves. You kind of need a coffee table and a couch in this uh, distance, this distance between each other. Mm. <laughs> Go down like that, kind of like a, and then do that. You, you look 30 like times a day and you might be fit. You look like you're in uh, some type of pain right now. I'm not. Can you give me a moment, please? Richard, nothing's working. I'm, I'm not giving up on him. Let's face it. He's fucking dead. Okay, no, not face it, Brian. That's fucking stupid. Hey, um, I hate to say it, but I think he's gone. Unless you want, you know, like the movie A Weekend at Bernie's type thing. This version would probably be called like A Weekend at Coindorps. I don't want to do that. You're right. You're right. It's, this is over. This is over. He's gone. We gave him the best alien life. <laughs> God. We should probably say a few words before we bury or I guess put him back through the portal in the back of the office. No worries. I'll I'll give the eulogy. I uh, 
I think I'm a preacher. How do you think that you're a preacher? Coin toy, we've known you since you were a little boy. I used to see you playing in the street and I'd say, Hey, coin toy, get back inside before I spank your ass. And he'd say, Keith, I haven't met you at this point in life. I met you later, so stop pretending you were part of my childhood. But that was just coiny being coiny. As we grew older together and grew closer, we fought in the Korean War, Vietnam, Iraq. We were each other's best men. We raised each other's kids. Vietnam? Keith, wrap this damn thing up. Okay, Brian, okay. This is important. Queenie's important. Anyway, Queen Doy, what I'm really trying to say is that we all love you. We hope you're in a better place. A better portal. Uh, filled um, with naked alien babes and unlimited Zark beer. Which will have to be uh, you know, guys, invented because uh, hey we haven't done it yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. Hello, boys. My name is Queen Doy. I'm an alien from the Triangulum Galaxy. Oh my god, he's back! He's back. Oh my god! Oh, shit. Oh, thanks. Jesus Christ. Wow. Welcome. We thought you were dead, Coindoid. I wasn't dead. I choked on one of those almonds Brian left in the break room. But thanks for shocking the hell out of me. That was nice of you. Hey, Coindoid, did you hear us? Zorg's alive! <sighs> yes, Keith, I knew. In fact, I sent a memo about it last week. Whoa! Those are memos? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I thought those were washcloths, and yeah, I've been bathing with them. What? I you've been bathing with the memos? What you? We bathe with could, fucking memos. I'm what sorry. I shit? I gotta hey, use something. Yeah. Entire thing. Hey, My skin. Have this entire process. I have to exfoliate. Why? For nothing. I can't believe that bullshit. You need to, you need to rub the skin with something in order to remove the dead skin. There's so many other things to be putting on your skin and things. Yeah, good point, Matt. There's a lot of other things you can. Not office memos, paper. That doesn't make any. I can't. I, you know what? Fuck this show. Fuck. I can't believe you, Keith. But wait, this is not my fault. Yeah, you know what? Now I'm gonna do it that too. Uh -huh. I've now officially quit the show and we're you're, a, you're uh, a terrible leader, Richard. Maybe, but wait. maybe I can uh, be co-leader. 